Hey everybody, I'm Tim here with the Sereno Cigars Taino Heritage. You're watching Cigars Daily. Get more out of this in all our videos when you watch them on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you'll find extra content and coupon codes and you can even leave your rating for cigars right next to mine under each review video. There are not a lot of guys out there with the big brass cojones that you need to put out a predominantly Dominican cigar these days. Like it feels like everybody out there wants it to be all Nicaraguan all the time. And so some of the other cigar growing countries sort of get left out the mix. There are a few out there, but certainly one among them is Tony Serino with the Taino heritage. This blend uses an Ecuador Sumatra wrapper over Dominican binder and fillers from the Dominican Republic. And then there's leaf from Nicaragua as well in there. So a three country blend, but half of that comes out to look like it's going to be Dominican. And I wonder what that gives today because so many people are flocking to Nicaragua for the extra like character and flavor that they say the leaf gives the cigar. So my big question about the Taino heritage is, can this thing pump out the flavor with Dominican leaf that it needs to satiate the palate of all the very discerning cigar smokers of our day? And the only way to find out is with a cut in the light. Wow, okay. So this thing kicks off like a piece of Spanish cedar with black pepper sprinkled on top of it. Like that's the whole flavor profile right at light up. It's an interesting profile that's lacking a little bit of sweetness, but you know, there's a lot to develop here. I think it's two notes that jump out at the setup. You've got a solid foundation for a flavor, but let's see what happens now as we jump into the first third. Now we've got a flavor to talk about. This profile is developed. But I do want to mention up front that the draw on this is just a little bit tight. I mean, it's not so tight that I would light it up and get another one or go get a draw poker or anything like that. Just a little tighter than I like it. But a lot has come into this. What started out as basically peppered log has turned into a really nice, well-rounded profile. A few interesting notes in here. Grass and hay comes in with this like woodsy note. And it gives it this whole kind of all around woods and hay and grass feel. At the same time, a nice sweetness along with almonds has developed in this. That's given it a really nice, I guess, mouth like mouth profile, because what's on the retrohale is just a little bit different. Right there, I get this really strange roasted coffee retrohale. I don't find roasted coffee on the retrohale very often, but altogether, it's a quite a diverse flavor that gives a lot of different, like, a lot of different notes, a lot of different things going on. So now we got to take this into the second third, see what it gives us. I am so excited about a transition. It's been so long since I've smoked anything. There goes the ash because of my hand waving. It's been so long since I've smoked anything that's given me like a full change in flavor and truly here in the second, third sweetness, there's almonds in this, still some of that coffee on the retro hail. And a lot of that grass and hay has kind of fallen away. Still a little bit of cedar, but started off very woodsy and now is kind of transitioned in this like smoother, sweeter cigar. That's been a really cool change, especially because you get two flavor profiles in the same cigar. It feels like a little more bang for your buck. At least it does to me. Now take a look at the wrapper on this with me. This outer leaf is just beautiful, rich brown and very oily. A smooth leaf without any toothiness on it. Thin veins and an amazingly constructed double cap on the top. Really well put together, even though it's given me a bit of a draw issue. At the same time, I love the branding on this. It's a very simple band, but really calls out to the Tainos. People who are integral to the very beginnings of premium cigars and what they are today. All around the idea of this cigar is really good. The flavor has given me a lot to chew on. And now I want to see what this does as we go into the final third. Like I sense probably coffee is in our future as it is with so many cigars and especially because it's already part of this flavor profile. So let's take it in the final third and see what this actually gives us and what kind of score it gets. Oh no, heat, my arch nemesis. 
This thing does get a little bit hot in the final third, but still holds on to a bit of a flavor profile. Two things stand out. One of them is that coffee, certainly is what's left over, but also this like mineral note is very interesting and I get it from time to time in cigars. This definitely has it. And again, the heat is what's really killing it for me on this. That definitely cost it some points as well. The rest of the experience with this was good. Came with some transitions, a nice intricate flavor profile, and some stuff you don't get every single day. I like that about this cigar. Amazing presentation and a good experience to boot. Overall, my smoking time on this has been 59 minutes and my score came out to an 84. The experience with this cigar has been really interesting. Anything but run of the mill. Truly, it started off and developed really nicely, gave me a nice transition in the second, third. There's a lot to like about this cigar, but of course the big deal here is, and what really matters is what you guys think about this. So if you've had the Taino heritage from Sereno Cigars, drop a comment down below and let everybody know what you think of it, because we'll all learn better when we learn together. And check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.